Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to retouple just just in seconds using this crazy add-on. After installing the add-on, go over over edit and preferences and add-on and install it because it's a zip file. It's pretty easy to install it. After installing this add-on, hit N key in order to open up the soft drop panel as shown here and you have a lot of features and factors and uh, a lot of things over there in this menu in order to make uh, this uh, mesh is going to lay in on this mesh because to create uh, a new topology and uh, retopologize in this mesh just in seconds depending on the source mesh and you have a target mesh so let's first things first let's define what is uh, the source and target meshes are since tends to be confusing sometimes for some people and we have for this panel the source mesh so what is the source mesh so here we have the eyedropper the source mesh is the mesh that is going to be deformed its source of the topology source mesh is made of quads are the most common and recommended either made during in previous manual topology so session and we have this source mesh as shown here so the target mesh is this mesh as shown in our tutorial. I have selected it and the source mesh. For the target mesh is the final shape desired uh, or target shape. Usually uh, a scaled or 3D as shown here. Composed of triangles or messy topology. Though it can be other quad mesh too. Keep in mind that if you if your source mesh uh, as uh, a 3D scan, it may be useful to, to do pre remeshing or it be for using soft drop since the 3D meshes usually contain malformed triangles. So you can also download the file for soft drop if you want to use it. You should have in your file both uh, the scaled scan or scan you want to retopology and the base mesh as shown here. With the topology you want to use, those are the ones you should. In our tutorial order, we have target mesh and source mesh. One of the meshes will be our source and the other our target. So let's set up uh, that in initialization panel. We have the over there. So to scroll up on the mouse wheel, we have initialization panel over there. So, but before we start the simulation, it is useful though not absolutely necessary to pre align both models. So select uh, this uh, source mesh, it's going to be the source mesh, uh, grab it just a tiny bit on the X axis. Hit 3 for the side view, so just grab it to have another problem, so just turn off. Uh, before we start to working on this uh, model is because the snapping tool is uh, turned on so grab it like this grab it on the y-axis just a tiny bit it's one for front view grab it also to align it I think this would be fine. Like this. So also you need to click on X for the symmetry on x-axis uh, before clicking on start the button to begin simulation over there so you need to select the source mesh and the target mesh so source mesh is this mesh and the target mesh is over there 
So let's rename it source mesh like this. Hit enter. So now let's begin with the, the simulation. Hit this sub button to start simulation. Now simulation is running, so click on it. Just wait some seconds. It's gonna be uh, launching the simulation. As you can see, it's working and you can pause the simulation also. Now simulation is running but not snapping to anything. It resembles a clue you can click and drag with the mouse to manipulate it. So now let's move on in order so the simulation is running in order to make this going to to be laid on the target mesh we should play around with the value of the strength snapping strength as shown here so it increases snapping strength shown here Slider to high value such as 1, like this, set it to drag it to, to 1. And as you can see, so let's orbit around just a tiny bit. This will make the source mesh be attracted to the target mesh and the stick to its surface, much like the shrink wrap modifier but dynamically. You may also want to enable in front wire. Scroll up on the mouse wheel. So let's enable also these two features in front and the wire like this. But when doing that, uh, you may encounter some weird things happening with the mesh. Don't worry though, it is easy to fix. As shown here, next to the additional burn area to the mouth and the chin as shown in our video. So. Let's see how to fix it. This happens when the mesh has some inward geometry that is not present in the target mesh. Usually structures known as moth bugs that are very common in base meshes. So to fix uh, this area shown here, uh, click and toggle to wireframe mode and uh, x-ray mode in order to see this, uh, this uh, section, this portion over there is gonna be It doesn't uh, snap in to the skull 3D model that I'm working on, so the geometry from snapping to target mesh since there is no matching structure in it for that just select and assign all the geometry you don't want to snap to vertex and select the vertex group. So this is selected as shown here. Let's add a vertex group and assign it like this. You assign it, drop down. Scroll down with the mouse wheel. So when uh, Snapping when uh, making this vertex group and adding just uh, the snapping group over there. So as you can see, we have created this great shape as shown here. It's going to be just uh, snapping the parts that we want to be. To be snapped and we want to work on to create uh, this retopology.
and also you can hold and uh, drag using this in order to make this uh, the target mesh identical to the this mesh as shown here I think this would be so fine for this part over there and for the ear I think this is good and fine and you can adjust it and assign some vertex group that you want to make them it's gonna be snapping to the surface of the target mesh and that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching